Hi, I'm Chris Jansen, and this is my iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat for my friend Bobby Bones. Thanks again to Bobby, seriously, and iHeartRadio for always supporting my music, playing my singles, breaking my career wide open, and for supporting my new album, Everybody. Which, uh, we have some questions now. Christy from Kansas City wants to know, who's your date for the ACM Awards? This must be a new fan. Uh, my wife, of course, Kelly. Lydia from Philadelphia would like to know if everybody was a rap album, <laughs> which you have to call it everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, Ellie from Tallahassee, what do you like to do on your day off? And I love you. Please come to Tallahassee. Man, thank you, first of all. Uh, love you, too. And we have a lot of family in Tallahassee, ironically, so we do get down there every now and again. And on my days off, I like to... Chill with my wife, smoke cigars, take my kids fishing, and uh, in the fall, I like to I like to go hunting. Hi, Chris. I would like to know if you would ever date a fan. <laughs> and if so, where would I submit my number? <laughs> Victoria uh, Scalavino from Pennsylvania. Well, first of all, thank you for the question, and respectfully, I'd have to decline. I've been married for eight years now, very happily married, and um, I would also have to say that no I would not date a fan even if I was single I would just like to keep that separate but thank you for loving the music Morg from Otwell what's your favorite song off the new album to listen to and to sing well thank you for asking that's a great question um, my favorite song right now is Fix a Drink because it's my second top 10 single at Country Radio and doing very well and I do enjoy singing it I will say as well um, I like Kuja Farmer. That's probably one of my favorite ones. And Redneck Life, I love that one too. <clears throat> Kelly from Rock Island. What's your pre-show ritual? Smiley face. Just drink a cold can of Mountain Dew and smoke a cigar and just chill out. I don't really, I don't really get too crazy. Uh, Caitlin from Kenton. If you could go on tour with anyone in the music industry, who would you choose? That's really a good question. Um, I would have to say that... I'd probably choose Cole Swindell. I like Cole Swindell a lot. Jeremy from Singapore. All of your songs are about that insane killer falsetto. Way too cool. Ha ha. How do you keep your voice in shape for shows every night? That's really a that's a good question. P.S. I'm digging the entire the entire record from Singapore. Jeremy, it's great to hear from you. First of all, secondly, um, I keep my voice in shape by kissing a hot wife and. Also, I drink a shit ton of Mountain Dew, bro. Heather from Manchester. Hey, Chris, it's Heather. So my question is, will you come to a con concert in Kentucky sometime? Also love you. Thank you very much. Back at you. We were actually just in Kentucky. Sorry you missed us. We were um, up there with the radio station in Lexington playing the ballpark. But, yes, we'll be back in Kentucky again. We'll be there very shortly. Robin from Kernersville. What's your middle name? Pierre is my middle name, Christopher Pierre Jansen. Adrian from Long Island, when you tour, how big is the entourage? It's not that big. Uh, it's my wife, my kids, and my merch guy, Two Week Tom, and my tour manager, Cam. And uh, that's it. Well, my band's not my entourage. My band is my band. <clears throat> Steph from Arizona, has your tour bus driver let you drive the bus? Actually, how do you know I'm not the tour bus driver? I'm just kidding. Jana from Nelson. What's your favorite InSync song? Never heard of it. Val from Raleigh. Have you ever picked your Have you picked your next single? I have not. It's a great question. But um, I'm leaning on a song off the Everybody album. <laughs> Katie from Fort Thomas. I'd love to know what you think is the best next single. I would love to hear your opinion. Katie from Fort Thomas. Who do you text with the most? My wife and my buddy Mitch. We uh, trade deer pictures. Tara from Winnipeg. For the cover of everybody, how many takes did it get take to get that perfect picture? One shot. I was uh, literally talking and laughing like this, doing a Kenny Powers joke, and um, it just came like that. Brittany from Harrisburg. At the ACM show, who did you make sure you took a picture with? My wife. Davis from Panama City. How many hats do you own? 
Jesus, that's a great question. You must know me really good, Davis. <laughs> By the way, catch you down in PCB sometime. Um, I would say, well, in fact, I gave 42 hats away the other night to my father-in-law that I wasn't wearing. So if that gives you a good indication of what kind of hats I have, I have a lot. I have a lot of boots, too. I would like to take a minute before this. Um, that was the last question, by the way. But I will, I will say, I'm wrapping this thing up, but not only thanking Bobby, but thank you to all the listeners for supporting me from day one. I know that you, you are just like a rabid, crazy fan base and that you broke my career wide open as well. Uh, with Buy Me a Boat the morning that it got played for the first time and you've been on my side ever since and I really appreciate that and I appreciate you being there for me through songs like Holding Her and I appreciate you certainly being there through songs like Fix a Drink. Um, if you haven't got the album Everybody yet, please get it and uh, if you already have it, thank you. Here is what it looks like, the album Everybody. Here's the front of it and yes it does look good and here's the back of it like this and when you open it up it looks like this. Uh, so please get one, and if you haven't already, and they're in, you can, you can pretty much get them at Walmart, you can get them on iTunes or wherever you want to get them, and um, featuring the hit songs Fix a Drink, Redneck Life, and Name on it, which is another great song. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, iHeart. I love you.